Pride Fest returns to Columbus this week and local businesses tell us they are beefing up security to keep everyone safe. TV's Ashley Bornanson spoke with several community members today. She's in studio tonight with the story. Ashley. Andrew, good evening. Business owners tell me this is one of the biggest events of the year for the LGBTQ plus owned businesses and they want to make sure that everyone has a positive and safe experience celebrating unity and equality for all. It's a four day long block party and we've got there's so many different moving pieces to it uh, and a huge sense of community and it's definitely our most fun. Nick Elkovich, the director of promotions at Union Cafe and Axis in the short north, says expect wall to wall crowds over the weekend for pride festivities. So we've got the rally in the alley here between Union and Eagle and then the big parking lot party where we've shut down everything over behind the scenes over there at Axis and it's going to be it's going to be a ball. With the massive crowds comes extra security. Elkovich says the restaurants are working with the fire department to ensure safety with capacity restrictions. We've been working with Columbus uh, Police Department for heightened security and we've also beefed up our own security team to make sure that we've got the, the safest environment that we can offer because this is such an important event. Nick Sinclair, the market manager for Markets at Pearl, says this Sunday his team will be hosting a sunlight market at Gay and Pearl Street. He says with the political climate, he's also ramping up additional enforcement. Uh, with Sid Public Services Association, we have a dedicated team of safety ambassadors. Um, so about uh, 15 to 20 safety ambassadors that patrol downtown Columbus alongside special duty officers that sort of just keep an eye on things, uh, provide a reassuring presence to, uh, you know, residents and businesses and vendors that are, you know, out and about. Jean Ogden says she's excited to attend Pride and support her trans daughter, but says definitely have concerns. She shares these safety tips for families. Go places in groups. Make sure you let people know where to go if there's a problem, if there's any kind of disturbance. At the festival, you should have a meeting place so that you and your friends and family can meet and make sure everybody's safe. And tonight, Ogden tells me to advise everyone to travel in groups, especially to and from the restrooms, which in her experience has been a target area for hate groups to harass community members. Pride events go from Thursday to Sunday, and for more details, go to 10TV.com. I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10TV News.